All right, today is uh, Tuesday, June 22nd, and we do have oil coming up on the shore right here. That's what you see, those little lines in the water. This is what I characterize as a thick, a thick uh, sheen of oil, uh, but you can see it uh, making these lines in the sand as the waves come ashore. And you can see it uh, looks like probably it's been doing this overnight because some of the more high tide lines that you kind of have up here, and as you get a little closer to the, uh, to the actual water where the waves are coming in, it gets a little darker here. And what you'll notice, of course, you normally have a, a nice white foam on the, on the water, but each time this, these waves come in here, you, uh, you get these deposits, very small, tiny deposits of this brown oil uh, mixed with sea foam and mixed with sand and just kind of spreads a, uh, a little line of oil with every, every splash of the waves as they come ashore here. Alright, and here is a, a representation of what is a tar ball, what you hear people call about a tar ball. And that whole block there is in a tar ball that appears to be some type of rock, maybe even coal. But uh, on top of it is a, a layer of sand that's been pasted with uh, sand and oil. And so that's a tar ball, that's that, that uh, browner area versus the black uh, back. That browner area for sure is uh, just tar ball sand stuck to uh, some, some type of rock. All right, here we got another little representation of a, a tar ball that appears to have some sort of maybe a, a little bit of a plastic that could even be some type of sea life shell that's in there uh, with it but uh, you know when you hear people say well we we had a few tar balls washed ashore well that they usually don't come all by themselves they get formed by big clumps of oil that is mixed with the sand and in this case you can see the oil of course spread out all over the beach and then the tar balls that came with it or the tar balls that formed from it. And here you'll get a sense of some of the tar laden foam. This particular section of beach uh, has a little bit of a, a uh, sand dune in front of it, so it's breaking the waves up before they get here. So you can see how this foam, which is uh, stained with, with oil, as uh, floating along here, you get a little bit better sense of that uh, because this water here is a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit uh, less churned up from the waves because of the sand dune breaking the waves before it gets to this point. One thing I'm not sure you're going to be able to see in the video is that in this particular area, it, it does appear that uh, some underwater oil is accumulating. That's probably uh, maybe two, two feet deep there, maybe two to three feet deep. And at the very bottom, you can tell it's just decidedly darker than, than the rest of the, uh, the water. And so uh, we think it's probably got some oil that's sunk to the bottom. And it's accumulated there because the, uh, the current that goes along with the beach is being blocked by that sand dune. So this would be a natural place where the oil would accumulate here along the beach, including the, the deep water oil, and not, not deep water oil per se, but the oil that's not floating on the surface, the oil that in fact will uh, sink to the bottom with whatever contaminants are uh, uh, also mixed in there with the oil. All right, there is a spot on the beach where you can kind of get a good view of the tar balls that are rolling underneath the waves. Some of these, uh, in this particular spot on the beach, the beach is a little bit steeper, and so I think that's what's causing these not to quite be able to roll all the way up onto the beach, but for the waves to be able to carry them all the way up onto the dry sand. And so they're just kind of staying in here in this, in the uh, zone where you've got the wave back, so they get they get tumbled forward as the wave comes in and they get dragged back out as the uh, wave retreats. And uh, so they just get constantly rolled here in the sand. 
and then over time, obviously, that'll uh, that'll break them down, break them apart uh, as they uh, roll together. Potentially, they plug back together, and also as the waves and the water work on them, you'll get kind of like they're in your washing machine, washing around. You expect that oil to, to come back out, even from the tar ball. So I just thought this was a good location to kind of illustrate that effect that you get here along the beach. Now this particular area, that looks like uh, some fairly, fairly thick tar ball, tar and that is, that is a very thick uh, layer. That's where a big, a big bunch of oil came together there and mixed with the sand. And you see it's almost formed like a soft stone there here in the waves. And uh, they're just sort of sitting there. So that is a very large tar ball there. Just uh, inches under the water and right in here being beat by the wave action. That's all tar ball there. observation I'd make is that the nature of the water here just appears to be uh, really dirty. Uh, there's no outlet. There's no river outlet that would be bringing any kind of dark, brackish, sediment laden water into this area. So, And it's June right now. So normally in this area, this water would be uh, fairly clear. Uh, maybe a little bit of tinge just from the, from the water uh, stirring up the sand, but, but not nearly this dark. And it's it wouldn't be this color. In fact, I'm starting to see uh, a school of minnows here. You'll see this school of minnows. And they are swimming. There are live minnows in there, uh, but they're very, very lethargic, uh, and they're they're kind of rolling up on their side. So you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the video. I hope I've got it pointed about in the right location. But uh, this does not look like. An area where the uh, where the environment would be consistent with a healthy marine life 